New at 10, given all the hail we've seen this summer, it might not surprise you that local car dealers are doing very well right now. A lot of vehicles are either totaled from storm damage or people just deciding to replace instead of repair. News 5's Jessica Barreto stopped by Motor City today to find out what you can expect if you're one of the hundreds who will be replacing their vehicles soon. Jessica? That's right. Well, I went to the Phil Long Ford dealership where the manager tells me they've seen a 30% increase in car sales. He says 90% of those buying would have never thought to do so before this week. But in the end, it's a great option for those experiencing severe hail damage. Stedman Phillips didn't think he'd be at a car dealership on Saturday, but then again, he didn't expect Tuesday's hailstorm either. He was on base at Fort Carson when it hit. Bang, bang, bang. So I'm like, oh, that's artillery. No, that's hail. Oh, that's someone's windshield. Then the news, his car wasn't spared. My wife calls me freaking out. She's like, everything's gone. And we're both just kind of like, all right, well, let's go get a new car then. And he's not the only one. More car shoppers have come through this Phil Long Ford dealership this week, and sales have seen an uptick, especially since car repairs can take months. They're realizing that to get the cars fixed is about three to six months. So you kind of have to weigh it out, what you owe in the car, what are you looking to achieve? Do you have the patience to wait? Some of these cars are so badly beaten up. I mean, they just left them here and, and they left in a new car. Barton says most cars people trade come in at more than $10,000 in damages. But the good news, dealerships like this one can handle the paperwork and payoffs associated with the trade-in, making it that much quicker to get your hands on a new set of keys. They're very surprised. They come in here and uh, within three hours later, they're driving on their new car. Phil Long has been really smooth. It's just the best, easiest process I have. And in many cases, he says monthly payments won't change much. The silver lining is they're moving up a year. They won't have a payment for 90 days. It's only about 10 or $15 more. In some cases, they're lower. And then that really gives them a peace of mind. For Phillips, that was all like new car. it's a much welcomed upgrade. That one looked like a soccer mom's car, but this car looks like a hip soccer mom's car. So there we go. Rolling in my Explorer. And as fun as a new ride can be, it's still important to have a plan B. We're going to keep on having hail, so just be prepared. You're in Colorado, so you need to save year round. Just get ready. And when it comes to shopping for insurance, Barton adds he noticed customers are better off when signing with bigger companies such as USAA and Geico. And he suggests to not focus as much on the best price, but rather the most coverage. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Jessica Barreto, News 5.